No, it doesn't work. I don't know how this place is, how this place works, but somebody will explain me, hopefully. Right. What a wasteland around here. What a big wasteland. My god. This place is... Intimidating. I'm speechless. Look at this place. My god. Right now, since I don't know what to do around here, I'll go here. I'll go here. Serena. I think that's your mother. Where is she? Where is Serena? Right, let's wait an hour. There you are. Good. Good that you finally appeared. I think I saw your mother. Is it her? Mother? Mother? It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? Serana. I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? You know, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. What? You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. She did not. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What? When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Bol. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Bol on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Hmm. <laughs> it's what some call the domain of Molig Bol. His place in oblivion. It was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. That's too much. One thing is being a vampire, and that's a curse or a gift, depends on it. But for her to die or disappear, well, fuck that. She's been helping me along this time. Fuck the tyranny of the sun. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? Not completing it.
Hmm. Killing Arkhan would be rather simple. And the cattle would be spared, yes. If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? Not really, no. He's a vampire after all, he's not immortal, he can die. You care nothing for Solana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana, a stranger, may call himself a vampire, but he knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to him? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. Thank you. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never well. asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. Oh my goodness, what do you want again? I'll assist you in any way that I can. Right. Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. Great. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers. And will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. <laughs> All right. When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange, I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they crave. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul. I would never have come here. The Ideal Masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. Unfortunately, yes. Since the keepers weren't able to claim my soul, hard life. They had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. Time has very little meaning. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which will give in. I see. I know very little about them. They're mystic entities that lord over the Soul Cairn, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the soul can. I believe there's more to it than that. Hmm. I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. Interesting. Conduits through which the Ideal Masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. 
the ideal master's weakness is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the Soul Cairn's existence, and the only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. I see. The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the ideal masters wind up here. As harvested souls. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal. Interesting. Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish and never again fear the tyranny. Sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. <laughs> be careful, and keep my daughter safe. If you want that scroll, hark on what he fails to re- if eternal night- the order of the day would be our destruction, until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. I see. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Oh, there you are. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Relieved. All those things have been building for a while. You have no idea how long I wanted to say that to her. Look, I loved my father, but when he found that prophecy, that became his life. Everything else, even me and my mother, we just became clutter. I was close with my mother, but she just kept feeding me her opinions of him, and eventually I started believing them. The moment we gave ourselves to Molek Ball, things got... They were both drunk with power. And then he found that prophecy, and... That was it. I was. Honestly, it took me up until now to figure out that my mother was really just as bad as he was. He was obsessed with power. She was obsessed with seeing him fail. Maybe I could have seen this coming. We could all be better off now. Yeah, you should not blame yourself. You don't know what it's like, coming from a family like that. Everything eventually tumbles down to you. Anyway, we should keep moving. Right.